In the darkness of dawn, while a city sleeps, while heroes move from the shadows, there's another nightmare world, an arena of death. In my arenas right here, men from all over the world come to compete. In a game where the rules are made by a madman. Only one cop has the guts. For revenge. No! You had nothing to do with Joe's death. He called for me. It was too late. Lieutenant Morgan! No friend can help him. What is it, Quinn? Don't be blaming me for this assignment, but orders are orders. He has to hide to get inside the world of the Blade Boxer. It's kill or be killed in a kingdom of madness where evil is the ruler. I'll shoot him right now if you don't watch. His friend was murdered. He lost his lover. He had no choice but to kill. With Todd McKee as Carter, Dana Plato, star of Different Strokes, and starring Kevin King as the Blade Boxer. You guys know I don't go in for these internal investigations. It's a real waste of time. You know, I got this deaf buddy whose wife just bought a $4,000 sound system for their home. Like, what's he gonna get out of that? You know what I mean? It's pointless. Just like this is gonna be. But if we're gonna do this, then let's do it, because I don't really care if you guys think Jonathan Carter deserved to die or not. It's second nature for me to take down a crazy man who kills. Now, I was working on busting a cockfighting ring. I'd already had my suspicions that Carter was involved. He's been known to use something small to hide something big.
Hey, Felicia, it's Rick. Uh, listen, I'm alone out here. There's no backup again. Sorry, Rick. The boys had a drive-by at the Cineplex not far from you. Yeah, right. No, really, I'm serious. What movie? I don't know. Well, I can tell which gang's involved by which movie is playing. Go ahead, test me. Something with Billy Crystal. How easy, the Benet Breath. That's not funny. I'm Jewish. Well, so was my wife. Rick, she married you because she wanted a husband who looked like Jesus. <laughs> well, who wouldn't? Hey, listen, have you heard from my partner? Uh, yeah, I did. Says to tell you he can't make surfing tomorrow. Says he's got some uh, cockfighters doing their thing in the morning. Is that what he says? Well, where do you find folks think I've just been? Hey, Rick. What? Let's you and me cut the bullshit. I don't think anybody else in the department cares. I appreciate that. Hey, but you still watch out for me, right? Right. Hey, are you really at a crime scene? I can never tell with you. You're always so blasé. Well, how's this? Oh, help. Bang, bang. Joe Brenner was not only my partner, but he was also my friend. And in a way, my teacher. We were rookies together and pretty much paired up from the start. The training we got was nothing like the fighting that Joe taught me once we graduated from the academy. It would eventually save my life. what you get for not being there to back me up. When are you going to learn this stuff? I don't know for this shit to get by. When I need extra fancy, I've got you to take on all comers. What if I'm not there and they're all coming at you? Think about it. Bottom line is the cops started to disappear. I mean, we're talking some pretty badass murders. It's funny, me giving a damn about another cop. I say that because you guys think I like to work alone, making each case something personal rather than it being about the law. Well, you're right. Ladies and gentlemen, tonight, as promised, is very special indeed. Our current champion, Maietzo, will fight not one, but two challengers at the same time. Challengers. Come on, 
see a little smile for the folks, huh? Oh, come on. A smile's not going to kill you. Oh, well. And now, our very wonderful champion, Maetsu! <laughs> You, I really like it that you go to see your wife. It's one of the reasons I'm here. Hey, bud. Sorry I'm late. Kids in the school play. Yeah, which one? Camelot. Ah, the King Arthur legend. 
best friend scammed on his queen, ruined his life, and everyone got screwed. I don't think so. My kid's in the fourth grade. Come here. So how's it going? What do you mean? Are you making it on your own? I'm not on my own. We'll start thinking like you are. Joe used to tell me it's not as important to look over my shoulder for who's out to get me, but to watch out for the people I care about. Because they're the ones that are going to be the targets for people who want to get to me. I didn't listen that much. Or enough. First there was my wife. Now we're talking a young, beautiful girl here, 24 years old. We were trying to get a family going. I was doing the rookie thing, and she was friends with all my friends who were cops. Yeah, cops. That's what killed her. She was in the wrong place at the wrong time with the wrong people. And that bomb was meant for me. Before all this started, I didn't really think Carter had anything to do with the car bomb. But whenever I dealt with him, he'd bring it up. Not just to pick at me, but to maybe take some credit for it. Oh, check that smell. Just like the Colonel. A lot of dead cocks, but no cocksuckers. This was a diversion. No shit. There's not enough money in cockfighting for a guy like Carter. Now, why do you think it's Carter? Well, it's not Dr. Doolittle. Jesus. Ouch. Lost or something, lady? Something, yes. Can we do something for you? Come on, get up! Not anymore, thank you. I think Johnny will bring new meaning to girls' night out. I didn't want to work with anybody ever again, not after what happened to Joe. I didn't think I needed anyone, especially a cop. I'll talk as much as your bastards want me to talk, but I won't be telling you anything to take down Lieutenant Morgan. He's a kick-ass dude, and a damn fine one. Look at you, like a couple of pension wannabes, hauling my ass in here to talk about Carter, that dead bastard. He is dead, isn't he? Good. You want to see the holes he put in me? I know cops get shot at, but the worst days in Belfast don't compare to this. 
At least there, the streets you're getting killed on look like picture postcards. What you got here, laddie? I was told to keep you narco boys out of this shit, but I have a feeling this is something you'll need to see. It's your basic common grave. You know, if you think about it, a can of sardines is a common grave, too. Beautiful. It's the second grave we found in the last three weeks. Could be a mob thing. Well, if you're gonna do coke, you gotta pay for it. Well, I don't think it's drugs. Well, then why call us? You tell me. Shit, the guy nails a few Irish terrorists and we give him a gold badge. But the Pope is still alive today, isn't he? Well, look what we have here. Those are some big-ass roosters, aren't they? How's it going, Henry? Not well, Mr. Carter, sir. Well, don't worry about it. Listen, it was a mistake, and I promise it won't happen again. Well, this is the second time that you screwed up this month. It was a mistake. I was careful. Yeah. Remote areas, Henry. Remember? Yes, sir. I'm not pissed off about the bodies being found as much as I am about the blades that you left behind. Don't worry. No one's gonna hurt you. do is check with missing persons see if there's a pattern i'll run this by forensics tomorrow see what they found on the other one maybe there's a pattern too already done you're way ahead of forensics aren't you yeah then what do you need a partner for i don't so jonathan carter why him well, think about it. Entrepreneur, cockfights. Well, call me if you're going to act on one of your notions, okay? But not tonight. Family? Yeah. You know how it is. Not anymore. Later, dude.
I've been here before, but you guys know that. How you doing, Max? Kids okay? Good. Well, you make sure everyone's all right because you can lose it all. I can't believe you guys thought I was in on Joe's murder. You know what he meant to me. I could have been there to save him if I just paid attention. He knew something was wrong or was about to happen. I just dumped him off and drove away. When I heard the shots, I rushed back, but it was all over. I was too late the hero. What can you tell us about the situation here? Well, we're still collecting the facts. I can't tell you much right now. Mayor Maroney, why exactly are you so close to this? Whenever any officer in our city goes down, I'm affected. But Detective Brenner was a friend. I'm here for his family. He's here for the photo op. Looks like a damn fine one. Pat. Morgan. I'm off duty. I'm sorry. Are you? Yeah. Then step lively. What the fuck does that mean? It means don't let me be alone on this, okay? All right. Joe is a damn good cop. I know. The mayor and I see eye to eye on this thing, Morgan. We can't keep the nature of these crimes a secret much longer. Why keep them a secret at all? And with all due respect to his honor, what does one cop matter one way or the other? Hey, Morgan. Hey, Chief, fuck you. And fuck his honor, too. I work for the people, Morgan. And the cops all work for me. Now, you're off this case. Oh? You're too close to it. You're up for re-election, aren't you? Then what is it exactly that I'm too close to? Fucked up. You told me to send a message to the narco guys. I did. What does it matter who got it? We'll see how much. I'll tell you what I want you to do. You get a uh, small change to set me up an exhibition match Friday night, and you get me two cops for that one. It always raises the gate for you when the cops are fighting each other. <laughs> they never fight, they fake it. That's entertainment, too. Go. Go. We're approaching the house, over.
Chief. Well, occasionally I like to pretend you undercover guys work for me. So? Quinn's going to be your new partner. I don't think so. It's not my idea, but once in a while someone comes up with a good one besides me. You don't have to shout about it. If we don't like ourselves, who will? He's a damn good cop, Morgan. And I'm good with a stick of dynamite. I had a partner. I'm out of here. Go after him. His car's on the side street. What am I, a puppy? A lap dog? Mascots? Irish wolfhound. Oh, I like it. Huge. Excellent swimmers. Gotta protect the castle moat. Dickhead. Lieutenant Morgan, wait up. What is it, Quinn? Don't be blaming me for this assignment. But orders are orders. I don't have to prove myself. You don't have to prove shit. Look, I'm sorry about Joe. But you're not the only one who lost a friend. I didn't ride in the same car with him, but we shared a couple of jars one time. The guy didn't just point me to a pub my first week here. He showed me where it was. America called out to me, Morgan, but your police department didn't. Most of the cops here can't be bothered by anyone but the local boys. It was good to have someone from the inside actually welcome me. Quinn, all my partners are targets. Well, maybe it's time you had one who knows that some of the shooting's coming from the inside. You, you little son of a bitch! Good Lord, it's Hooker! Yes, all, right, all right, all right, all right. Let me no, go. Get out of my, in the Damn car, in the car. I'm gonna kill in you. In the car, thank you. What the fuck are you doing? Get in the fucking car. A Rita's a company man. Rita's a hooker, and a damn fine one. No, I didn't know much about Quinn at all, not until we were partnered up. I knew everything there was to know about Morgan. He's a good worker, sure, but could you imagine being stuck on an island with the bastard? Brutal. Might as well be stranded with a stone. Rita wanted to rip my heart right out of my chest. She was working with Morgan. I didn't know she was undercover. Oh, no, Rita is the best at everything. So naturally, she looked great as a hooker. And I know that if she were actually a hooker, she'd be magically delicious. Get in here! Hurry up! What are you doing with this hooker, Morgan? She's not a hooker! What the hell were you doing so close to the station? I just got bail posted. She was walking the streets. I was working. Working the streets. Will you please tell him who I am before I rip him a new asshole? I bet some Johns pay good money for that service. Quinn, shut up. Look, she's not a hooker, she's a private investigator, and she works for me. Schmuck. Sorry. It's all right. Honest mistake. What? Rita, he's my new partner. Oh. Fine. Then you can sleep with him. Feisty wench. Let's go. If I were a woman, I'd be flattered if a man called me a hooker. Now it's done. I don't know what you're so pissed off about. You knew I was in jail, didn't you? I didn't want everyone in the department to know about us. Yeah, well, that little prick really roughed me up. That's why you make the big money, Lita. I'd be better off if I were a hooker, instead of a snitch. But you wouldn't be with me. Right out here in the open, huh? Who's gonna get us, baby? On the streets, we look like we're supposed to look like a couple of losers. But I know that one of us isn't a loser. She's hanging with the one who really is. What? 
You had nothing to do with Joe's death. He called for me. It was too late. My wife called for me too, but that time I was just unavailable. Then why don't you stop then? Because it won't be over until I end it. Basically, he got bored with the drug trade, so he invented this sport to entertain himself and his friends. Once he realized that high society dug the novelty, he turned it into a high-stakes event. Human cockfighting. Yeah. Look. His common graves were for competitors that didn't make it. None of them hardly ever do. So when one does, the purse gets bigger and the winners become regular blade boxers. Terrific. Well, he's got a cool name for his franchise. Carter trusts me. Really? Why is that? Why else? Has he? How? Oh. Show me where he holds the matches. It's not going to blow it for you. It took me months to get in there. Well, why keep it hidden from me? To tell you the truth, I think I'm looking for a cop who's got a little more support from his department. You call for help, and nobody comes. Look, I won't just call in a tip. I mean, what the hell would that mean? Half your guys are on the take, and the other half are betting on the horses. Cops are at those fights? Yeah. And sometimes they're doing the fighting. Tell me where. He uses vacant warehouses around the city. All right, so get him to involve you more. What does that mean? Don't worry, baby. I'll get him before he gets you. What's wrong? I want out of the work when this is over. Okay. Does getting out of the work mean getting closer to you? I mean, which team is gonna suffer? Both. We are what we do, Rita, everybody is. Your wife was a wife, and that worked. It worked, Rita. Everything works when you're both 24 on the wedding day and the wife dies at 26.
Morgan. Yeah. I'm on my way. What's up? Oh, they just found a couple of rookies. I got assurances, and they don't mean shit. You got assurances when it came to drugs. That's it. All right, listen to me. You listen to me good. I put you where you are, and I can take you out. Well, Morgan can, too. He's back on our faces. He's one man, for God's sakes. Well, if he can take me down alone, he can do the same to you. And you know, I hope he does. The mayor was in with Carter, I knew that. So was the chief. They'd been on the take, one or the other, for a long time. But nobody had been turning up dead. It was just the department letting Carter get by with the gambling and the cockfighting. I mean, a politician like Maroney needs money to stay in office. And you guys know as well as I do that nobody gives a damn about the source of the money when it comes to staying in power. Rita and Morgan? Well, they were just friends. They do know exactly which buttons to push, though. They're like sister and brother. There's kind of this energy between them. But me and Rita? No, we just work with each other. She's like a sister. But there's no way she'd ever get involved with them. What's it your business anyway? He'd kick my butt if he knew I was talking about it. There's a big event scheduled in the next few weeks. Where? I don't know yet. But I will. Good. But once you get me that information, I want you to ease back. Oh, yeah. That'll look great. Me suddenly disappearing from an operation it took me months to get into. I don't care how it looks. Your job is your wife, Ricky. And me? Well, it's nothing worse than a useless mistress. Johnny. You were the one that was supposed to die, you know that? I thought that car bomb would have finished you off years ago. It's too bad that other cop wanted to drive. I know. Pissed a lot of people off, Morgan. The department could not figure out why you sent another cop to pick up your wife. Shit happens. Go on. 
Hey, Morty. If he didn't kill you, I'll let you live. I mean it. Don't put you out of commission, but I will let you live. Go on. Go on. I want you to tell me where you're going. No. And tell Quinn. I said no. That's exactly why I want to get out of here. I don't want anyone I know to take a hit for me. Do you still want me in with Carter? Listen to me. I don't want you to do anything. You don't know where to find me, and you don't know me. Well, I can lie about finding you. Without knowing you. So before you leave, I just want to say that, well, if I never see you again, it's okay. Because it's been really great. gone and he wants to be forgotten that's bullshit those were his words exactly where is he with all due respect sir it was you who was going to reassign him now he says he's out of everyone's hair that's what he says get out of here chief what should i find him fat chance of that never mind fat chances i can find him follow him and fit him for knickers without his knowing he killed my cash cow Champion. Look, don't worry. We've got a delivery coming in tonight. I don't want to hear about that. You've got to find me someone. I got my next event in less than a month. I have some ideas. My answer was the crowd pleaser. I'll replace him. What about Morgan? There he's gone. It's nice to have friends in high places. I had to disappear, and I'm talking way undercover. It was also a way of losing myself. You know, I don't mind telling you guys. After all, it's easy for office dudes to keep it together. You don't do anything. It's all talk. Anyway, it was good to be someone else for a while. I was so far gone with everything that had gone wrong, I actually believed I could hide. Joe used to come up here to be by himself. When I met him, I thought he was weird for wanting to be alone so much. Now that I've got it to myself, I see his point. Which is? We're only good for other people if we do well on our own. This might not be a bad idea. It's all over the city. Here has got the whole department looking for you. Not to mention Carter. That's right, I killed his hot ticket. But it's not enough to kill his operation. I need to get inside. How, Morgan? He knows you. Morgan's gone. I want you to keep an eye on Rita. She's in there with Carter. Are you really going somewhere? That's right. If anybody asks, tell them you haven't seen me and you don't know shit. And Rita? She'll know when she needs to know. Well, I hope that's true. I don't look forward to your girl beating the crap out of me for information I don't have. 
Let's face it, Morgan, she's a pugilist. And a damn fine one. Well? No one's seen him. Maybe he left town. Yeah, I think so. Right. He's a big boy. He's also on a hit list. Got any ideas on whose list it might be? What are you driving at? You put me with the man. Now the man's gone. Thought you might have a little insight. Not so much on where he is, but why he feels he had to disappear. Look, I wouldn't be talking to you this way, sir, unless I respected your sorry ass. Now go fuck yourself, because I quit. You mean to tell me your entire police force can't locate one of its own? It's not as cut and dried as that. I've given orders, but I can't do it without a certain measure of subtlety. Besides, they don't get why I'm making such a big deal about finding Morgan. He's left town before, he always comes back. I've always been there for you, Hayworth. Under my administration, less cops have gone down than in any other. With all due respect, Mayor, you've had us look the other way an awful lot lately. Well, we're all part of the same program, Chief. How long do you think you can keep that condo in Mammoth Hidden? Or the boat in Tahoe? I'll tell you how long, for as long as I'm in office. So you find him and make sure he keeps my special constituents happy. I dug the darkness I created for myself, or at least the darkness of the world I was becoming part of. You'd think a bar like this where everything goes would be the last place a fight game would be played. But it was perfect, the confusion. Violence mingled with strange and all kinds could be together, where no one gave a damn about anything. It was weird in there. I'd never gone to a place where I got so much attention. I've grown a lot since coming to America. Why, where I come from, We'd blast a pub like that right off the face of the earth. Of course, they do carry the best liquor and boast the most tasteful decor. Double scotch. Thanks, Matt. What's going on? What do you think? I think you're all for show. You've never been in a leather barn your whole life. Well, let's just say you're right on at least one of those points. Look, I want to know what you know about fairy tales. More than you do. I figured as much. Let's start with Snow White and see how fast you can come up with a dwarf. Small change? You fuck with me and it's your ass, no pleasure involved. Look, I don't know if you're a cop, okay? Major motherfuckers 
walk through here and I don't know shit. So don't you fuck with me. Jesus. Sometimes the man you're looking for watches the fights in the back room. Fights? Yeah. And the little guy always walks out with the winner. I'm guessing that you want to be that winner for whatever reason. Get me back there. Give me a second. What are you doing, man? Looking for a swell time. Fuck that, you gotta get out of here. I've got my orders. Well, you come to the right place for that. I'm your backup. Moan a little and they might buy it. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh. Oh. You better not have been following me from moment one or we're both fucked. Well, we're not fucked. I know what you were doing. All this changing. Cup of the beer doesn't go by in double-edged super blues and born blonde hair color unless he's planning on making a change. And it's a damn fine one. Why were you on me? For the Hallmark moment, sir. Get out of here. He's all yours, guys. I don't want him. What do you get for a fight like this? Part of the purse. How do I get in? You need a sponsor. You can buy your own way in the first time. Well, I want in. You've got an opening. your lousy life. That's what I was there for. That's what I was supposed to do. I didn't leave this scene because I'm not supposed to. You don't play by the fucking rules, I know. But this is my way. You want to be by yourself? Be by yourself. I hope the day doesn't come and you'll be needing me because you'll be crying wolf. Quinn. Don't worry. 
I won't cry wolf because I don't let myself get in a position to have to. Guys hang themselves on that shit and sacrifice people in the process. I've done it twice. So here I am, prick with nothing but a job. I'm touched. If I disappear, Synchro Industries Carson. Saw you fight last night. So? Got a job for you. Doing what? Fighting. Think about it. I was in. It's not hard when you want to be there. I finally pinned Rita down into telling me exactly where Synchro Industries was. Getting inside was one thing. Making sure we could be found if something went wrong was another. Rita? How long have you been with me? A few months. Do you like it? It's a hustle. Better than leaning on a lamppost. Rita. People think I don't know. It's exactly what I do know. Don't mind me, I'm just one of the worker ants. Aren't we all? Familiarity breeds contempt, sweetheart. Stay out of your way. That's up to me. Swings like pendulums do. She didn't know I was following her. How could she? It wasn't me. I mean, if she'd gotten in the same room with me or gotten close, she would have known it was me. I could have covered every feature on my face except my eyes, and just from those, she'd have known. Security sucks, Mayor. You don't have to kill anybody to get in here. You know how dangerous it is for you to be seen in my yard? Well, I would lose in a sleep What I'm worried about is losing an election. An election your people have virtually assured me of winning. Why screw it up by coming here? Because you've been trying to screw me with your goddamn task force. I've been having to move my events around like a circus. 
got to look like I give a shit about the mutilations. It's a small price you have to pay to keep operating those massacres at all. Take the focus off me, Mayor. Impossible. Now. Now the focus will be on an assassin. Night's yard. We're standing in the backyard at the home of Mayor Philip Moroni, where just hours ago his body was found by his own security officers. With me is Police Chief John Hayworth. Chief Hayworth. I understand that the prime suspect in the murder of Mayor Moroni is one of your own detectives. That's mere conjecture. But isn't it true that Detective Morgan had been dismissed from the force and disappeared entirely? No, he was reassigned. He's a good man. Who had a publicly known hatred of Mayor Moroni. I won't comment on that. Stop rolling tape or I'll break that thing myself. Cut. Fight! Fight! Mix it up! big mouths. I've had a couple of run-ins with him myself. He's a busted you twice. Well, he's a hunted man now, you know that. We have a common cause, okay? That's all I know. Can I help? You could. I haven't been home. I've got a hungry dog that misses our master. Go ahead. Come back when you can. Thanks. I like the free rain. Don't be stupid. It's not that free. Is the caller there? Quinn, this is Rita. Are you on a speakerphone? I am. I'm talking without using my hands. They're busy elsewhere. Um, excuse me. Couldn't you have picked a better time for this? Jesus, Quinn, you've got a personal life. And a damn fine one, too. I'm in Carter's office. Could you please get on with it? Go for it, Rita. Do you copy? I've been working with Morgan. Where is he? First of all, he didn't kill the mayor. What? He didn't kill the mayor. Of course he didn't. Oh, the man who kicks ass stooped on to fire in a bullet point blank. You've got to get him some help. And you've got to tell me where he is. He got himself taken inside Carter's arena, and that means he'll have to fight if he's got any chance of surviving. I think Morgan can hit pretty damn hard. Just ask my face. These aren't normal fights. I've seen them. He'll die in there tomorrow night. 
You want a real collar? Get the department to haul his ass out of there. I'll get dressed. Who cool phone? Who was that, anyhow? This was Rita. I arrested her. What for? She's a hooker. And a damn fine one. Which reminds me, you have the right to remain silent. Uh, never mind. You've already given up that right, haven't you? Damn it, Morgan. You better not be crying wolf. Good evening! <laughs> As you well know, this is our farewell late boxing event. Please, please, we will be back. We will be back. That's right. But tonight, we are pulling out the stops. Now, as you've all witnessed in my arenas, men from all over the world come right here to compete. Tonight, I've got a very special local boy. Detective Rick Morgan. I have Shanghai, one of LA's finest. Ladies and gentlemen, when a cop enters the ring, the ante goes up, but the winnings, they can go through the roof. You think Cotter didn't know it was Morgan? It's on the eyes, bitch. We saw through you too. Ladies and gentlemen, take a look at the champion, Wang Su! Wang Su has never lost a match. <laughs> no man has ever lived. But our challenger, well, he's a uh, formidable foe. Like those we say for farewell bouts like these. People, what I want you to do right now is examine the blade boxers. Remember, the odds are on Wang Su. But the big money right here is on Morgan. You choose. How'd you know it was me? You wanted too much to be here, Morgan. All the others see what's going on and they wet their pants. If one or the other competitor is not defeated by the end of the first round, they will have their choice of either left or right talons attached to their hands. But wait! If neither competitor is dead at the end of the second round, we will attach talons to both hands. Of course, you may bet on each individual round. And for this final night of blade boxing, ladies and gentlemen, the house will double the odds. All right. Good luck.
Pine Wolf.
Get your little woman here with me. Let her go. Are you kidding? She's my armor, asshole. You sure you want to lose another mate to me? At least the cockfighter wasn't a chicken shit. You're giving him credit? Yeah, why not? Prick almost won. It's the corner macho. Hey, how you doing? I can't wait to get right back on that horse. Damn right you will. Let's go. I don't believe you guys. It sounds like you're ready to go through all this again. Shit, yes!
Look at me. I'm bruised and battered and skewered. But I do that again before I do this again. You people need to get in there and get nasty. I mean, look at yourselves. Sitting on your butts, watching all the action instead of being action-packed. You can take what you want out of this, but I took Carter down because he was taking over us. Yeah, us, you guys. Hell, I don't even know if this isn't all a bunch of lies. Another setup so the department can rest on its bullshit laurels. You could die working with Morgan. And if you guys think he's a killer, then that's okay. But if he were a killer, then I can testify under oath that he'd be a damn fine one. Yo. No.